Hey guys, Jordan from Storage Review here at the Supermicro booth in Computex. One of the most exciting booths, one of the most energetic keynotes with Jensen and Charles this morning. I'm here with Johnson. He's here to talk about this liquid-cooled uh, NVIDIA system behind me. I see a lot of tubes, I see a lot of drive caddies, and it's really tall. What is this? What's going on? It's quite impressive, right? Well, first, tall is subjective. This is actually something that our engineers focus heavily on. We wanted to be able to give you a solution that wasn't just powerful and condensed. We wanted to develop an AI total solutions package that can fit in a traditional rack. Liquid cooling is all the rage these days. You guys got a complete solution. Uh, what do we have going on here with all the tubes and what's, what's this at the bottom? So we're starting from this here. So the cooling distribution unit has one job, to take the heat as quickly as possible and this job is, is not a small one. It takes 89% of the heat away from the entire server, leaving very little for the air to go ahead and just do its thing. So we've got our CPUs are cool now, our GPUs are getting cool now. Um, that must mean that these aren't very loud and that in turn, you know, that silence means savings on some scale, right? More than some. Okay. How much is that? 40% taking off okay. the total cost of cooling your data center. So I've got a turnkey solution from Supermicro that it's gonna cost a little more up front, but it's gonna save me a bunch of money in the long term. What, it, I, I place the order today, I'll see it next year or what? That is, oh, I love this. Okay, two things about that. Okay. It's great that you think it's gonna cost you more up front. It doesn't. No? It doesn't. Okay, so it's the same cost, cheaper to run, we remember, we want to look at the whole data center, yeah. right? This rack with liquid cool is allowing you to deploy, if you're talking about just the hopper platform, yeah. for every one rack you deploy here, you eliminate at least one other rack that you would have. So right, your data center footprint is yeah. reduced in half. The second is if you're upgrading from the previous generation, one rack of H200s, okay. 64 H200s, is equivalent to 26 racks of A100 air cooled. Okay. So this is the savings we're talking about. So I have less real estate, less air conditioning. Less needed real estate, less need of air conditioning, less okay. copper, less entire infrastructure. Supermicro went ahead and created our own liquid cooling company. Everything that we're talking about here is from bottom to top. So when you hear about things about shortages of worldwide CDUs and different parts for liquid cooling, that does not apply to us because we are not beholden to another company. This is our own product. So that being said, we have a two-week promise. What? A two-week promise. So, <clears throat> so long as you give us the right forecast, and we're very serious and we've very yeah. big conversations, we've helped you develop your POC and we understand how you want to scale, right. we can deliver this two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. That's a pretty impressive timeline. If we're talking about 100% yeah. of the pieces, there are some parts that are outside of our control, obviously. Right, yeah, you don't make so, the GPU. If we're yeah. talking about the parts allocation, yeah. that also has to be worked out. But if you're already working with us, yeah. then you're already working with the GPU vendor. Right. So we do testing at the L11 level, which means that all the networks right. are connected, the operating systems have the same image. But we also do it at the L12 level. We're really? putting your application in, we run ML per from many different loads, we take a look to see what your performance threshold and target's going to be. Yep. We could do this at the POC level before we even do the phase build. Okay. But by the time it gets there, the reason why we do all of this is so that by the time it gets to you, you're signing off on it. All right, so our total solutions here, we've got it all set up. What's maintenance, management, that sort of thing look like? That is a wonderful question. It's one thing to deliver it, and it's another thing to live with it, right? Yeah. We actually have two separate teams, the on-site deployment team, which sometimes some of those members actually double up yeah. as the maintenance ongoing team, Okay. right? So there's lots of different models, but generally speaking, if you have a data center and you're running your own equipment, with you know, super micro branding, we will have options for you to have break fix support. And depending on your mission criticability, if that's a real word, yeah. <laughs> we're going to give you the option, is it next day? Same day, two day. So for us, break fix could mean several things. Okay. And for us, we are offering all the way sending our people on site to swap out the parts that are failing. And meanwhile, you can breathe easy because we've built in redundancies from the server level to the rack level to the data center level. So you guys are providing a total solution. 
Well, thank you so much for your time and presenting the product here. This is a really cool concept that Supermicro has put together that they're putting out in the real world right now. Hey guys, Jordan here at Computex 2024, still in the Supermicro booth, a lot of cool stuff to see. I got yes. Nathan here with me. He's gonna show us, uh, I don't know, this is a brand new. Brand new. Blackwell. Blackwell. And Grace. Yes, and G and B, and Grace. Blackwell, that's how you get the GB, yep. right? And there's some numbers, 72 or something? 72, up there? 72 okay. GPUs. 72 you got GPUs. It. Yes. yes. All right, so we saw this in GTC get unveiled. Yes. But uh, you're here to tell me a little bit more about what you guys did with it. Exactly. So okay. this is the new liquid cooled version of. These are liquid. This is liquid. This okay. is liquid cooling all the way, man. All the way, okay. Yes. Yes. So this is liquid cool. The switches are in. These, yeah, uh, we're, we're going to take a look at the back here in just okay. a little bit. Because I that's think where that's the part. Is. That's where the business is. Okay. Yes, yes. This is the, this is the fun part right here. Yeah. Yes. So we got the, uh, the the fun up front. So it's a reverse mullet. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we got the business in the back <laughs> and the party up front. Yes, I see yes, you got yes. The E1 business is front. definitely no business is in the back. Oh, that's okay. where you get. That's where no. It's, it's <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, right. so we've got we got we see some networking at the top, yes. but this this power solution here. Yes. These are pretty chunky, and they just kind of keep coming exactly. out. Exactly. Okay. Out all right. Out. Let's go. Let's. I let's think go these for are it. 3,600 watts, and geez, so, those are some connectors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So there's there's three on the top and some more down there. These right. are uh, these are the power shelves. Power, power shelves. shelves. That's a per proper terminology. Right, because this is OCP rack. This is OCP. 21 inch, so it's wider exactly. than what we saw 19 previously. 19 inches. Yeah, yes. the 19. Correct. Because um, we need the extra space now for the liquid cooling. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. so these feed what the bus bar? This goes straight to the bus bar off of the actual chassis, okay. right? So there's the chassis for the power shelf, and then it feeds directly into okay. the bus bar. You got you gotcha. got your terminology right. Yes. All right. Well, let's take a look at that bus bar around back right now. Sure. Okay. You got me tight, cramped back here in <laughs> yes, the back of the data center. I'm yes. squeezed in, but you were right. There's some business going on here. Absolutely, there is. Talk me yes. through it. All right, so what we're looking at is that NVLink switch tray and what yep. actually is connected in terms of the fiber um, from what is the NVIDIA technology. So Supermicro is supporting all of that okay. in terms of the, uh, the the fiber on the, the Yeah, I can see all the different strands in here and uh, they, that looks like a lot of fun to wire up. Um, that's a really good point, actually. So one of Supermicro's actual key successes actually is in the on-site deployment. Yeah. So we might have remembered at GTC, Jensen was actually talking about two miles plus of cable, yeah. tree trunks of the this this cable, yep. right? This is what actually, in, in terms of the success of what Supermicro is doing, is the on-site deployments. Yeah. We got our big OCP bus bar here. We can see our power supplies. Uh, see where all the whips go in, right? And, Correct. Uh, what is that management network in the side? Yeah, there? you have the management network up okay. there on top. Yep. And exactly. then I see our uh, zero drip connect uh, connectors. Yeah. Yep. Important point about that when we're talking zero drip, the amount of condense it's it's really just condensation that you get. Yeah. Zero or zero point zero zero two five cc's of liquid. It's what if you were to take your glasses and then breathe on them. Yeah. That's how much liquid. It's not. There's no drop. Yeah. I, yeah. Functionally, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, wow, there's uh, the, get the big chunky pipes down there to go to the CDU, and then I'm assuming there's connections out to the facility. This exactly. Is, uh, this is quite a piece of engineering back here. It, uh, how many parts are in this thing? Oh, well, we're talking actually in terms of the core components. Yeah. Hundreds, hundreds. I mean, in terms of like actual like, parts, yeah, thousands. When we're talking all individual components, if not tens of thousands. Wow. Yes. yes. So you're getting, uh, but this 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 shows up to my data center just like this. Fully configured is yeah. what we're doing. In fact, we have a uh, our liquid cooling. We're also doing this mass production. Mm -hmm. So we have the the facility for mass production, okay. liquid cooling testing. Uh, something also very unique, and we're also doing this in San Jose, California. Okay. So it's not as if we ship it out somewhere. Yeah. If you run a data center, East Coast, West Coast, we can ship anywhere by land, sea, or air. So, Wonderful. Yes. All right, well, let's head back around front and uh, finish up up there. Sounds like a plan. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our 18 compute trays. Yes, yes, 18 compute trays. Okay. So talk, let, talk me through what's in here. Yeah, as far as, far as we're talking uh, GPUs, Blackwell, and then the Grace CPU, uh, 
as far as it's all liquid cools. Yeah. So now, an important thing to know here actually for the heat, we can actually support up to 45 degrees Celsius. Okay. Warm water liquid cooling. Yeah. And so this is actually done with Super Micro Liquid Cooling Tower. Yep. This is part of our complete liquid cooling solution. So, yeah, so you guys have an end-to-end -end solution on this stuff. This it's is not absolutely true. Just the rack. Exactly. I can order everything from Super Micro. Yeah. The only thing in terms of actually the facility side that we're in terms of like yeah. the key things from CDU to the actual liquid cooling tower, yeah. all that in between, that's facility side. Okay. But end to end, yeah. in terms of liquid cooling, liquid cooling tower and the rack, all supported under okay. Super Micro. And really, when we're talking from like closed loop in terms of yep. the actual rack itself, is propylene glycol coolants. Okay. So that's an important takeaway. It's kind of the similar stuff that you would actually find yeah. on your in your car. Okay. So, so a lot like of this antifreeze. Is, it's like yeah. the antifreeze exactly. Right. Um, in terms of actually what you see in terms of the actual uh, the closed loop, there's also a closed loop between the actual rack itself and the. Uh, liquid cooling tower. Okay, so the CDU yeah. that's down here, yes. let's let's get to that. So exactly, that yeah. has a heat exchanger between the rack and the, the facility water for the tower? Yes. Okay, that's cool. So it's not running it through these? No, the, it's the not. Water There's a the heat tower. exchanger on okay. the CDU and it goes to the liquid cooling tower. Now, important factor to note here is actually at the liquid cooling tower, it's not a closed loop actually in the liquid cooling tower. Okay. But there's a heat exchanger that's happening in the liquid cooling tower. So between really? the cooling tower and the CDU, okay. so imagine you have a yeah. data center, multiple racks, multiple in-rack CDUs, yep. you would then have all of those CDUs running directly to that liquid cooling tower. Okay, so we've got our, uh, our, our 72 GPUs linked together with our NVLink switches. This seems like a lot, it seems really expensive. Is there maybe a cheaper or something if I'm just trying my way with AI that I could get? Absolutely, so we know this is a different level of compute, right? Yeah. And that changes the whole game. Right. However, those who don't need the kind of same density as NVL 72, 72 GPUs, okay. We're now also looking at 36. Okay. So there's NVL 36, and if you want to get the same performance, not the same density, but the same performance yeah. as NV NVL 72, 36 times two, okay. there's, a, there's a two rack option. Now, okay. the key difference here is these compute trays, instead of one U, they actually are now two U. Okay. And not again, not as high a density, but yeah. you get 36, in there now it's still all liquid cooling though okay so it's not as you get the you don't you don't get the air cool benefit right. that doesn't exist in the world of new yeah. gpu compute now. it doesn't have it in blackwell exactly yeah. right so we know that already but okay so there's yeah. a more proof of concept affordable option if i just need to test the i would say so and then okay. those who are looking to start with nvl 36 would though and they can actually expand with so interconnects. So there's a roadmap. And, yes, and then yeah. the, between the racks themselves, okay. it's interconnect and V-Link oh, okay. as well. So yes. they're still the same high-speed bus. Right, now a lot of what we are, we're talking about today, I'm gonna do a little bit of disclaimer here, yeah. because I'm telling you, a lot of the design and, and final nuts new. and bolts, yeah. it's all brand new, it's bleeding edge. However, as you can see, the partnership that Supermicro has with NVIDIA, and understanding their, you know, their roadmap and their challenges and our challenges, we're able to deploy quicker, test faster for our clients. Wonderful. Yes. We heard about yeah. some management stuff on these guys, so I'm assuming I can see, you know, what's this GPU doing? What's that CPU doing? What's that valve doing? Yes. Right. Yes. So let's like that's a single pane of glass management, right? That is, yeah. Okay. So we call it Super Cloud Composer. Okay, we've we've seen that before, and uh, when we worked with our blade systems. Absolutely, yeah. perfect. Yeah. yeah. And so, and and the way to really talk about or, or think about this okay. is when we're talking total liquid cooling solution, yep. it's not just the hardware components, what Supermicro is doing, it's actually also yeah. the software aspect well, of it. Well, because you guys are making everything, so it should all work together really nicely. Exactly. Awesome. Exactly. So this is a little ways off later this year, yeah, maybe so, early next year. So what we're looking at in terms of initial, you know, in terms of timelines and such, yeah. we can expect later this year. Okay. Um, now, we know the craze with the H100s and what happened there. Yeah. So we're expecting, in fact, probably right. more demand. Okay. And what, what we're asking those who are interested in making 
decisions yeah. is they come to us today, look at what their plan is for the next year, year yep. and a half. Okay. And, and I know technology is moving very it's rapidly. Crazy these it's days crazy. With AI. But yeah. that's where we're at today, and that we can support today as part of that conversation cool. with our clients. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time today, Nathan. Uh, we'll throw a link down in the description to uh, both our article and our website, as well as uh, Supermicro's information on it. Really appreciate your time taking us through the uh, GB200 NBL72 rack. Absolutely. And uh, we'll see you around. You got it. Thanks. Yes.